today we're going to be building a bookcase out of mahogany plywood and solid mahogany. I have an attorney friend who wanted me to build a bookcase for this big old set of law books that he has. Basically 320 inches of shelf space is what he needs. Based on the height of the ceilings we can get about a 7 foot bookcase, 7 foot change, and then 6 shelves in between. So that means we're going to have to make it about 5 feet wide. And what that means for support with these big heavy books is I don't want the plywood to sag or bow or anything and I really don't want to make it ugly and put a divider or anything in the middle for support. So I'm going to be using a slightly different method than the traditional 3 quarter inch piece of plywood that is generally used for shelves. So make sure you guys check in to that step when it gets here and let's go and get going. This wood's not going to cut itself.
I've been dreading this step for quite some time now. It's about time to attach the face frame to the rest of the plywood and the shelves and everything using 82 biscuits. Literally this week I was in a wood store, or I guess a bit store, getting a router bit. And this was at the front counter. This is tight bond, wood glue, no run, no drip for molding and trim. And I saw it. I don't know if I've ever seen it before. I've just never been aware. Uh, it's amazing. Holy cow. Put together the face frame with it. Didn't have to worry about any runs or anything or really much squeeze out at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see how it performs on the face frame. If you haven't ever heard of this or haven't seen it before, please go get you some. I've wasted so much time cleaning up wood glue squeeze out and runs and drips all over the place that I am punching myself in the face that I haven't seen this before. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what we got. see what we got from there. So here we go. I decided at the last minute to call an audible and I decided I couldn't finish the bookcase itself, I did not have the time to do the sanding sealer and the clear coat, so I asked one of the guys at my work to finish it for me, who's in the finishing department, does a fantastic job, and it's back and it is silky smooth and looks fantastic, so thank you Junior for doing that. And right now I'm about to go ahead and get something set up at the top to be able to screw to the wall or attach to the wall, then I'm going to load it up and then I'll be off and on my way. Andy, I'm coming to you bud. 